fit this gear in the tub. Figured I'd show you guys a little bit of what I've been up to lately. So these are all an interference fit. So I can get this lined up dead center over with the crane. It's going to take a big uh, propane torch, heat this up, expand it, and then drop it on there. It's kind of a little bit nerve wracking. You got one shot at it if stuff don't line up right or um, the clearances aren't right. You can get a pretty good bind. I got a sledgehammer and a block of steel handy in case I got a quick coat of whaling on it. And encourage it to come back apart. I've only had one that I've been put together with this gearbox so far that has uh, had an interference issue where I had to break it back off and start over. But So, get this perfectly centered up. I say, once you get that heated up. gear by the way. I believe, I think I'm getting my memory right. Yeah, 60 inch gear, 200 teeth if I remember correctly. Anyway, this is the kind of stuff I've been up to. I just thought I'd show you guys one little clip of what uh, this whole party looks like. Alright, so I've got my hub setting on the floor. 60 inch gear here getting heated up. Probably take me, I don't know, 15 minutes or so to get it warmed up enough to where I'm uh, ready to drop it on there. But this is the system.
There she is, folks. I don't know if you heard the thump, but that's definitely what you want to hear when you put one of them on. She went her thump straight to the bottom. So anyway, now she'll sit there and uh, one this big will take a long time to cool off. I won't dare move it for quite a bit, but it'll gradually go tink, 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 and you'll hear um, locking up, and then you'll start. See, we put anti-seas on them. Uh, Make sure they don't gall up going on, and then just in case we got to press one back apart because they can really be ugly to get apart once they've shrunk on. But anyways, as it cools off, you'll start seeing it spit the uh, anti seize up out of the joint. So, anyway, that's all there is to it, folks. When it goes right, that's all there is to it. This here is the in case it don't go wrong or goes wrong gear. Sometimes they'll get cocked a little going on. Like the part you didn't see me do was. Uh, when I hung this on this yoke, I actually put a level across here and adjusted the eye bolts until it was hanging dead level. And you're trying to get that thing, you know, as dead nuts on as you can one shot. But sometimes, you know, if the key was a little taller than you thought it was or it gets a little cockeyed, they don't go. And then you got to quick pick it up. That'll be stuck in there and slay that steel block on it, go to whaling on it, get her busted loose before she shrinks on. Because if it shrinks on with it wrong or half on, you are really screwed. So... Anyway, that's the kind of stuff I've been up to for the last couple of months. Just thought you guys might get a kick out of that.